Cam Akers of the Minnesota Vikings suffered a lower body injury that unfortunately required him to be carted off of the field last weekend. Currently, there has been an update and it looks like it is the worst case scenario where he has actually suffered a full tendon rupture and he's due to miss the remainder of the season. There is a grading system for these Achilles injuries and this one is classified as a grade three and I wanna go ahead and focus on the grading system with this video as well as the relevant anatomy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Nick Gallo and I'm a doctor of physical therapy. With my channel, I take a look at sports injuries and I explain them so that they're a little bit easier to understand. I also go over the relevant anatomy of that injury and talk about what that person should expect when they come to rehab. If you like this sort of content and you wanna see more of it, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I will be making more of these in the future regarding sports injuries, rehabilitation, and other physical therapy related content. Also, if you yourself have any experience with the injury that I talk about in the video, go ahead and comment in the section below. So we see here that as Aker steps back with that left foot, he's going to go in a motion that's known as dorsiflexion. And as this happens, we can see here that as we zoom in, there's a little bit of recoiling in his calf. Here I've got a model of the foot and ankle. And so for the sake of this video, we're going to focus on the back, also known as the posterior portion of the lower leg, where the calf is located. And so in order to form that Achilles tendon, you're going to have three muscles in the calf that are going to come down and form that tendon. The first one being known as the gastrocnemius, which is the big muscle we often associate with as being our calf muscle. That's going to come down. We also have a muscle known as the soleus muscle, which is slightly deeper to that. And finally, we have our plantaris muscle, which is a lot smaller than both of those muscles. And they're going to come down and conjoin and form that Achilles tendon, which is then going to attach onto our calcaneus, also known as the heel bone. There are two main motions at the foot and ankle that are going to essentially affect the Achilles tendon. The first one is if we're going to contract all of those calf muscles and that will also pull on that Achilles tendon, that's going to plantar flex the foot, so coming down this way. And then dorsiflexion is going to be the opposite where the toes and foot are coming up this direction. This is going to stretch all of those calf muscles as well as the Achilles tendon. So as we look on the video again, as he steps back, he's going to put his foot and ankle into a lot of dorsiflexion. And that is when we see what looks like that calf recoil. There are a couple ways to suffer an Achilles rupture. The first one is like we see in this video where a person is going beyond their maximal dorsiflexion. And that is just going to be too much strain on the Achilles tendon and can lead to a rupture. The other one is when a person is going to be sprinting or exploding or jumping and they're basically putting too much force and power through that Achilles tendon when all those muscles contract, that can also lead to an Achilles rupture. There is an on the field test or in the clinic test that we can do to determine if we think somebody is dealing with an Achilles rupture, and this is known as the Thompson test. So essentially what we're going to do is have the person lie prone, and we're going to have their foot essentially hang over the table. What we're doing here is we are going to grab onto all of that calf musculature, we're going to squeeze it, and we're looking to see if the foot moves at all. So anytime somebody has an intact Achilles tendon, you're going to squeeze that calf musculature and you're going to see some plantar flexion of the foot. This makes us essentially believe that the person has an intact Achilles tendon. However, if we do that and there is essentially no motion at the foot, this makes us believe that the person is dealing with an Achilles rupture. The gold standard, of course, to determine the severity of the injury is going to be the MRI and that takes us into our grading system. So in a grade one Achilles injury, this is where you're getting stretching of the Achilles tendon. In a grade two, you're getting some partial tearing. And finally, in a grade three, this is where you're getting a full rupture. Unfortunately, sources have already reported that this is exactly what Cam Akers is dealing with. And anytime a person suffers this sort of an injury, they of course are going to miss the remainder of the season. A grade three, of course, is going to require surgery to repair the Achilles tendon. And there are some different surgical methods that are floating around right now. I know that Aaron Rodgers, the surgery that he had, has allowed him to come back a little bit quicker where he's not essentially in a boot for very long and he is essentially allowed to weight bear quicker than normal. So that can affect the outcome as well as the traditional surgery where a person is non-weight bearing for up to about eight weeks to allow that tendon to heal. And it's a little bit of a slower progression. So we'll need to wait a little bit to find out what surgery he's going to have. So then we can uh, essentially talk about the rehab process with that. If I happen to hear any updates, I'll be sure to update everybody in the comment section. Also, if you happen to hear anything, please feel free to update everybody as well. So we wish Cam Akers the best of luck moving forward. Unfortunately, a full rupture is a tough recovery, but he has dealt with this in a prior injury on his other leg. So hopefully he has a better time with this one moving forward. If you enjoyed this content today, I'm gonna go ahead and link another one of my playlists about some other injuries that I've talked about. Thank you again for tuning in and I'll see you next time.